Each year, 300,000 American workers are disabled in work-related falls, and about 80% of work-related deaths result from falls. Beyond the human tragedy, falls represent a major cost to U.S. businesses and industry. Millions of dollars are paid out each year in insurance premiums, workman's compensation, product liability suits, and other related expenses. Additionally, hours of lost labor, skills, and productivity often result. In addition to the human and financial costs, federal requirements administered by the Occupational Safety and Health Administration, OSHA, provide extra incentives for businesses to develop and implement fall protection campaigns. In addition to the lost lives and injuries caused by falls, U.S. businesses lose millions of dollars each year from significant increases in insurance premiums, workman compensation claims, product liability costs, and other related expenses. In short, a comprehensive fall protection program not only saves lives and reduces injuries, but also saves money and makes good business sense. Hi, my name is Mark Dennington. I've been an iron worker for 14 years now. And in the last 14 years, I've witnessed a lot of accidents on the job, on structures just like this. And I'm here today to speak to you on a subject that's really close to my heart, safety equipment and fall protection. Anyone who's ever had to go before a man's wife or a man's children to tell him or to tell her or the kids that, that their husband isn't coming home because of an accident on the job, it'll get close to your heart. Since I've been iron working, uh, there's, there was 51 iron workers started my apprenticeship class. And now I believe there's only four of us left out of, uh, and I've been iron working for 14 years. I was working on a job in Alaska, in Kenai, Alaska. And I was working with Bechtel Safety. And I worked with them and they expressed the need for better fall protection equipment. Ones that were streamlined, ones that you could move and climb easily in, and ones that would protect you and protect you from slamming against some of the structures like this when you're tied off. See, normally when you're tied off, if you fall, you're gonna slam against whatever you're tied off to. And on today's market, they don't have anything until today that will take the slamming effect out of it as well as reduce your, your speed as when you're falling. They have tearaways, which they're good for, for, for falling straight down, but as far as taking the slamming effect out, there is, there is nothing until now. We've devised a new belt, one that's streamlined, one that has easy pull and pull tabs where you can take them and stick them down and on the chest and on the legs because the reason that I did this is I was working on this job when I was working with Bechtel and uh, uh, they had a belt that had clasp in the middle of your legs and when I was walking they caught together and it almost made me go on the hole, it almost killed me. And that's the reason that I devised this and devised this streamlined belt. And this belt you can also put tools on it. You can carry all your tools because normally all you have is you have your tool belt and then you have to put a harness like this over the top of it which is bulky. And when you're bulky and you're climbing and you're not used to all this extra stuff that, that's put on you, it's more dangerous sometimes than it's worth. And I would like to show you how, uh, what this belt looks like. The difference between mine and the ones that are on the market today. The ones that are on the market today have a single catch. Mine has a double catch with a ring which balances you out. For instance, if you take a cat and you hold him a foot off the ground and you drop him, he'll flip over and always land on his feet. This belt gives you that advantage. Plus, it also gives you a double safety. This catches and it stretches the bungee cord. And then if all else fails, this, will, this one will catch you. But this is designed to catch you and stop you before you hit the end of this lanyard. Normally, on most of them, you have to hit, the, hit something and it tears away or you just hit the end of a straight rope. This thing slides up and balances you and, and makes you really agile and it keeps you straight up and down. Most of the belts, they just catch you directly in the back D-ring and leaves you hanging like this, which leaves you vulnerable for injuries to be slammed in head first or back first. And you can see these uh, beams right here, that uh, these cross pieces, that how they stick out. You can throw your arm up when you're falling 
and it doesn't matter. You'll hit this and it'll either break your arm or it'll, you'll hit it head first and give you a concussion or maybe even kill you. These are, the, these are some of the problems that we've ran into in working up Hive. You can also see that you can carry your tools on this, on this harness, where most of the ones nowadays are two-part. You have to have a belt and a harness, which that makes it more bulky and more harder to move around in, which makes it more dangerous for the worker. Here's their spud wrenches on this side, and you can carry all your tools. You can carry your hammer, your bags, everything that you need for the job. And this is not just for iron workers. This is for everybody, carpenters, uh, welders, laborers, anyone who has to get up over 10 foot off the ground. Some, some refineries, they make you do it six foot off the ground you have to tie off. The main thing for these belts is to be comfortable and to be streamlined. And now I'd like to show you our replacement models. It's got a hook on each end of it. This one tie is the hook that you use to tie off with. This goes into the D-ring in the back. And this is a steel ring which helps balance you out. These are the replacement shock absorbers and these can go on other manufacturers' belts. And I'd like to show you how they hook up right now. One goes in the D-ring in the front. And this is the only belt on the, on the market that catches you at a three-point system. That's, that's one of the secrets to help balancing you out and to help take the slamming effect out. It's comfortable. It stays up on your back almost like a backpack out of your way, and it doesn't hang up on anything. That's one of the major problems is people hanging up with a lot of things when they're climbing around on big buildings and steel steel structures like this one that we're on today. And now we'd like to do some demonstration jumps and uh, simulated test balls for you to actually show you how the system works. A lot of times you'll be in awkward positions and you'll have a lot of abstract pieces that are in the way when uh, you fall. You have a lot of slamming effect in most of the other equipment that's on the market. And we'll show you how this one takes it out. Normally, you'll slam and hit these pieces really hard. You can see how it catches me on the back, how it levels me out, and how it keeps me straight up and down so that I can reach out and touch the things and keep me from hitting things instead of catching me directly in the back where it leaves your head down and leaves it where you're out more out of control and more apt to slam and to hit things with your arms like this and to break them or to hit things with your head like this piece behind me. Usually when you hit something really hard and fall six foot, it's time to retire. When you're reaching out over your head and you're extending yourself out, a lot of times reaching and trying to tighten the bolt, you lose your, you lose your grip or something happens. And no matter how you fall, whether it be upside down or sideways, this always catches you and turns you right up like you're supposed to. And an accident like these happen. But it keeps you from slamming into things better than anything on the market. You're, you're well in control and you're in balance. All the rest of the other belts that are on the market catch you directly in the back, on the back D-ring. The best feature about this one is it catches you in a three-point, uh, two across your shoulders and one in your back, which balances you out and levels you out and takes the majority of the slamming effect as well as the shock on your body when you fall. And this is over 1,500 dumps that I put on uh, using this same type of equipment. I've been testing it for about a year and a half now, and we're just now ready to put it on the market. It's ANSI approved, and it's OSHA approved. I hope you've enjoyed our presentation of Dennington Safety Gear, and I hope to see you around on the job soon.
Dennington's safety belt standard material is nylon, but the belt can be made to your material specification, including polypropylene or a fire retardant material. 